YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I guess this has become a little series. I have already, well, I've uploaded, perhaps at the time of this video, the other videos I uploaded won't be published yet, but I have shared already or uploaded, not published perhaps, three other videos sharing the contents of things I acquired from my latest estate sale. What you are looking at here, well, it's a box of vintage sewing patterns. <laughs> I gave a sneak peek of this box when I shared like everything I found at my latest estate sale, but I didn't share the contents of this box. And I thought, let's, let's look at this together. So it's a nice size box. Vintage sewing patterns. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side and randomly take out some of these vintage. <laughs> Look, you guys. Do you guys collect these? And I hope I'm within view. It's kind of hard to tell, but I hope you guys could see the full, the full pattern. But I have been collecting these for several years. I do come across these a lot when I'm out junking and thrifting and hunting. Um, but I got this whole box from, once again, an estate sale. And the name, I name the lady and the gentleman of the house. I give them my own names. I call her Classy Lady. And I call him Attorney Man. <laughs> So these are classy ladies sewing patterns and look at them, you guys, the date. I use the date to help date or I use the price to help date these. The, the cheaper ones are the older ones. Okay, and take a look because I love the ones with African-Americans and look at this one. It's a Vogue. And you guys, some of these patterns can be very pricey. They're, you can get a lot of money for them. I don't resell mines. However, I don't know which ones are pricey, but I've seen some by Vogue that can be, they can be worth something. And I love the illustrated ones. I love the ones with the Afro and with African Americans and babies, but I have so many sewing patterns. I mean, I have a lot of them. I don't really collect them anymore. I got these because I figured, why not? I got a bundle price for not just the sewing patterns, but for everything I shared in that video. But these sewing patterns, they tell a story. They take you back in time. They take me to a place I wasn't born. Like, these are older than I am. But they not only tell the history of fashion, but they also tell... A history like I don't know when African Americans were featured on sewing patterns it was probably the late 60s or the 70s but it's these just tell so many different stories and I think it's a good um, way like for instance let me find one look at the hairstyles they also tell that story right not just clothing and shoes and accessories but hairstyles oh i love it another one with african americans this is plaid but i wanted to like this one here look at her dress pattern wouldn't it be something if you had the fabric so if you are a fabric enthusiast perhaps sewing patterns can help give you an idea will help date your fabric. Love it. And then this one, just look, I just love it. Okay, so I do craft with these as well. I I have used every single aspect from the, I call them pockets, but from the envelope down to the tissue. Because I have so many of these, though, and they can be, oh, they take up a lot of room to store, I gut mines. What does that mean? Well, a lot of times I throw the tissue out. I do save some tissue because I do wrap with it. I do craft with it, but I throw a lot of it out. 
Um, I like to recycle. I love this. Look at this. And I love when the women, because these are also paper dolls. I know a lot of crafters, they cut these out and use them as paper dolls. I have made charms out of the faces, bottle cap charms and other charms using faces. But I like it when they have different poses and when you have the back pose. Oh, look at this one. Vogue. I need to see if this one is rare. Look at the cape. I would wear this today. To me, some things just never go out of style. But I use every aspect. I am thinking about having some of these listed in my Etsy shop because I come across these, like I said, quite, quite often. I love this dress and the pattern. And I, I don't know if, like, Okay, if you've purchased one of my, my junk packs, I have it listed on Etsy. I put everything in one of these vintage or semi-vintage sewing patterns. I also use these as pages and pockets in my books, my, my handmade journals. It's so much you can, you can do with it. And... They're in good condition. Even the ones that are beat up, I find a use for it. Look at here. And I hope I'm within frame, you guys. I just love it. I wish I knew how to sew. I look at a pattern and it's, it's complicated. It confuses me. Look at the hairdos. This looks like a karate outfit. I mean, if I found that today, I would wear it. Yes, I would. One of the companies, I don't remember which one it is, but they they have dates. And I love the children. Oh, I love the children. They have dates on theirs. And then some companies... They don't. Well, there's a couple main companies, Simplicity and of course Volk, but there's another one too. I can't recall the name. McCall's. Yeah. McCall's. And this outfit here, you go girl. <laughs> you go girl. And look at this one. This one is... Well, it makes three smocked pillows. I don't come across a lot of home decor patterns. And then look at this one. Oh yeah, Butterick too. That's a popular one. I'm halfway through the box, you guys. Look, Raggedy and an Andy. And then this one. These two. It's fun to look at these. So how do you guys, well, do you use these for their intended purpose? And that's to make clothes. Betsy Johnson. Okay. I recognize that name. I think her items are still being, I'm not too sure about patterns, but I, have Tuesday morning had something a couple years ago with that name, maybe stockings. So do you guys sew? Do you use these in arts and crafts? Another home decor, curtains. This one, this one cost 40 cents. Oh, and love this. This is 35 cents. Woohoo! 65 cents. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. I love to find the African Americans with the Afro. In my sneak peek video, I pulled out two at random. And I don't think I've come across them yet. Oh, look at this, you guys. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous. Love it. Some of these. Oh, it would be hard. Oh, look at this one. Look. 
look, <laughs> look at that hair. A dollar. Love it. <laughs> but some of these would be hard to cut into the image. Got some children. Got some toddlers there. And this one, this is $2.50. Alrighty, almost done. Got to scoot some of these out the way. And look at here. 75 cents. Look at that one. And sometimes you could find... Well, some of these ladies, they might be actresses. I found one with Diana Ross on it. So I know I wouldn't recognize any stars if I saw them, but I did recognize her. Look at these. Oh, love the hair. Look at that. Those curlies. And this one. And these two. So fun. And I don't come across, I do have some by this brand Advance, but not as much as the main companies. And these two. Almost done. Almost done. And then this one. And these two. And here. So the other videos I have in this series, at the estate sale, I found a whole box of used postage stamps that still, that has the date also on it. So I shared a video of that. I also shared a big magnetic binder filled with newspaper clippings and handwritten recipes. So I shared that video and then this video and I think there's another video. Oh, another African-American. I don't remember this one too. I don't remember what that other video is. Oh, I think this is one of the ones I pulled out. I was so excited. Now that's not an Afro, but you know what? I think the illustrators, they use the same, the same girls on different patterns and you know what somebody told me i don't know how true this is but i went to let's see my last antique fair one of the vendors had vintage sewing patterns of course hers was outrageously expensive but she knew that crafters use these in arts and crafts whatever she stated you know what she gave me her card because she has a store Darn it, I don't know where that card is. I just remembered as I'm speaking right now. She stated she had a whole lot of other vintage sewing patterns. So she gave me her card, but she also stated that there is no copyright on sewing patterns. I don't know how true that is, you guys, but that's what she said. If you guys have information about that, please leave it in a comment. I would think that it's copywritten, but she said it wasn't. Okay, and then, what is this? Oh, this is tracing paper. Almost done. Got this one here. Some of these outfits, you guys, a lot of the outfits I would wear today. Oh, yesterday at the thrift store. I don't normally buy expensive pieces to wear but I came across these two 50s I know they're 50s because I typed in the information I saw on the labels and someone on Etsy was selling the exact same top of course of course her top was going for like 60 70 80 bucks and I didn't pay that for it but I purchased these two pieces to use in journal making. Then I thought, you know what? I think I might just keep them to wear them. They're vintage, same company, different colors. Okay, so um, 
Parade. I never heard of Parade before. I do come across what I think to be, and Parade might be one of those subscription pattern services. I don't know, but... Oh, see, I also use these. So when I gut a pattern, I'll keep the paper that has the image. A lot of times I just cut the image off and I toss everything else. And if I already have the tissues, if I have enough of it saved, I toss this as well because it's so bulky to store, but I always keep the envelopes. So that's how I gut my, my patterns. This says airmail. Oh, from New York. So I have like maybe 10 of these and then it was this larger envelope with this in it. Best of the newest to make from the 1969 issue of Woman's Day. I have a lot of these type of patterns and I have some that's even bigger. When I say bigger as far as width and length, but you these are large, like large page patterns. I, I made a book. I didn't finish it, but those are good. You could do a lot with that. Okay, you guys, I think that is it. I have some miscellaneous stuff. Like, what is this? Oh, do it yourself. Science, fantasy, Halloween costumes. So this, oh, you guys, too, I found, okay, I have a couple of vintage Sears catalogs, but the other day at my favorite thrift store, I found a vintage Montgomery Ward catalog. I didn't even know they had their own catalogs. <laughs> so, so super excited about that. All right, you guys, I am done. I am done. Woo. I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to gut these, if I'll have some listed in my Etsy shop, I have no clue. All right, you guys, if you like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe. Also, share your thoughts. Share how you how you use these patterns. And it don't have to be vintage, too. Just share how you like to use it. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.